Yeah, election day now just 26 days away and as the countdown is on the race for a county supervisor seat is getting personal as supervisor Nathan Fletcher went after fellow supervisor Kristen Gaspar's campaign mailers calling them deceitful. Fox 5's Jason Sloss starts us off live at the county building with Fletcher's message and Gaspar's reaction. Jason. Well, Andrew, there's a lot riding on this race. Basically, control of the County Board of Supervisors up for grabs. And today, things really heating up with these campaign mailers and Supervisor Fletcher angry over how they're worded. The simple reality is voters deserve to know the truth. She's trying to trick you, to deceive you. It's wrong. San Diego County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher on the attack against fellow Supervisor Kristen Gaspar, a Republican running for re-election in the hotly contested District 3 race. Fletcher's angry over Gaspar mailers sent to Democrat voters. He says the mailers are misleading by suggesting the two have worked closely together. But Fletcher, a Democrat, points out he and Gaspar don't see eye to eye on much. She's a Trump Republican. I am an Obama Biden Democrat. If you're a voter and you get a mailer, and it's got a picture of the two of us sitting right there, and it says works with, that's clear. That is a clear attempt to mislead voters. And, and, and that is a, an unauthorized use of it. And, and, and for a voter out there, and I've had Democratic voters from the third district send me this, and say, well, I thought you were supporting someone else. Fletcher has endorsed Democrat Tara Lawson-Reamer. And if Lawson-Reamer defeats Gaspar, Democrats will likely control the Board of Supervisors. I've had no a number of voters say, I'm so confused. I thought uh, you had Supervisor Fletcher's endorsement. I, why, why is Gaspar saying that, that he endorses her? The Gaspar mailers do not claim an endorsement from Fletcher. Supervisor Gaspar released this statement saying, unfortunately, in Supervisor Fletcher's aggressive efforts to take control of the Board of Supervisors, he has decided to pretend that the work we've done together over the last two years never happened. It is perplexing to me that Nathan and my opponent take so much pride in their unwillingness to work with those they disagree with. It is unfortunate for the people we represent and the sad state of affairs in politics today. District 3 covers Encinitas, Escondido, and other parts of North County, and the winner will likely give their party a 3 2 edge on the County Board of Supervisors. Outside the County Administration Building, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.